Hi guys, it's Melissa from the Melmar Group. So I have gotten into buying rotisserie chicken and making bone broth. If you want to see how I do it, stay tuned. <laughs> So recently I've been buying rotisserie chicken. I actually tried to cook a whole chicken and cut it so it would lay flat on the pan and do all that like you see on all the cooking shows and it was awful. So I've now decided that I will buy rotisserie chicken nearly every time I'm at Costco and probably buy a couple of them. Um, we can get one to two meals out of one um, so if I buy a couple, I could just take them off the bone, uh, put it in the freezer, and then I've already got cooked meat. And then I can use the bones to make bone broth. I've made broth before, but I've not made bone broth. So let me show you how I do it. Okay, so excuse the humming sound in the background. I'm filming a bread video at the same time. Um, but bone broth. So I've made a lot of broth um, in the past, but I've been looking into making bone broth. And one of the very first steps to do that is to roast your bones. So um, I have a bag from a rotisserie chicken um, that has some bones and it still has some meat left on it. And I'm gonna put it in this baking pan. All right, mine is still frozen. We'll see how that works out, but just trying it for today. So it's still got some meat, it's still got some skin. Uh, we probably could have picked it a lot more, but hopefully that will help the flavor. So I'm gonna put this in the oven at 350 for about an hour. Okay, so I roasted my bones for just over an hour in the oven at 350. And now I'm going to put them in my pressure cooker and make bone broth. Not sure if you can tell, but you want to use a pan that has some sides to it because you get some juices in here that are supposed to be really good in the broth. Make sure that will fit. Pour in some water. Mine is a 16 cup pressure cooker. Um, I'm going to do this a couple times though to make sure the broth is really rich. So. Uh, just pour in what you can for your unit and then I've been told that apple cider vinegar also helps draw um, goodness out of the bones so I'm going to do a splash of that and this chicken is already seasoned because it's a Costco rotisserie chicken um, if I had vegetables uh, I would put them in here I don't right now but you could do carrots onions celery herbs. Um, I just have some of this garlic herb seasoning. I'm just going to put some of that in. Sprinkle it in. I'm going to set this for high pressure and I'm going to do it for two hours. Okay, so this is what your pot will look like after three hours in the pressure cooker with the bones. And I'm going to drain this off and show you what it looks like. Okay, so here's what you get, this beautiful yellow golden broth. Mine has a little bit of chicken chunks in it. I did strain it, um, but it has those and I don't mind them because I will use it with chicken recipes. So. That is fine. Um, you can adjust the salt on this as you would like. I did not add any salt when I cooked it. I will do that when I'm cooking. And so that's it. So um, when this at the end of this video, I will put how much quantity I got out of it. But for now, I'm going to let this cool and then I'll put it in some containers. And that's how to make bone broth. Okay guys, I was able to fill almost two 48 ounce applesauce containers with the broth that I made. I did use a little to make dinner, uh, to make gravy tonight, to go with some chicken. But this is what I had left over. And you can see how nice that is. Um, 
it's just so yellow and nice on the top and it kind of forms a little bit of a skin but you can stir it through and it's really really flavorful so I hope that helps so the trick is to roast the bones and then I believe to do it in the pressure cooker yes you can do it on your stove if you don't have a pressure cooker you can cook those bones to death um, but the pressure cooker makes it so nice and easy so um, I hope that that helps you bone broth is supposed to be really healthy for you and um, you know a great nutritious thing to have I just put those cartons in my freezer and we're going into cold weather so when I want to make some soup I'll just pull one of those out and be able to make soup and it'll be great. So if you like these kind of videos, please um, like and subscribe. Leave me a comment down below if you have anything different that you do for bone broth, what kinds of broth you make. Um, I'd love to know. So until next time, make it a great day. Bye.